Hello, YouTubers and all those happy to watch. Hope you guys are all doing quite well. As you can see right here, I did not do this. This was something that, well, one thing I did, but past that, this was something that was done for the previous well, server that I was on. And this is one I did not have access to due to the fact that I was kind of lazy. But let's go through a little brief tour of this said pixel art zone. As my computer lags down tremendously. Duck hunt. Some pumpkins, which Eileen had a fetish for. The pumpkin head character, which is... I don't really think it was ever from Earthbound, but just Halloween-oriented, Earthbound-style character. Or he's themed. This right here, I have no clue what the hell that's for. I'm assuming it's Tetris or some sort of abstract art. You got a sack boy here. Babs Bunny from the Ness. Boogerman. Minnie Mouse. Link I did myself. Right down here. 8-bit style Link. There's wiring at the bottom due to the fact that, well, it helped keep this sand in place. So therefore, you know, that's kind of why I kept it there. Good wiring. I mean, sadly, if I could do a mod or something like that, it can actually remove the wiring from this. That'd make it a pretty good thing, you know, so it won't be, it'll be transparent. But Earthform Jim, again, Sack Boy, as you already known, Sephiroth. This, of course, is Slime World. Uh, I forgot the full name of the game. Which is uh, Todd's Adventures in Slime World. This was uh, not done by me, obviously. But very much a lot of work done on that, which is really good, detailed work. Uh, the next we're going to move on to is the other pixel art zone that we did not have access to. Which are actually going to move straight to that place. Everything's going to load up. It's moving so rapidly quick through the world. Through my uh, creative mode style mod I got installed here. Which is actually... What is it? Too much stuff. Which is practically the... That's, this is the Doom uh, inspired level. Slash building. Which... At some point in the future, I'll probably try to get a land connection going with uh, Strictly Sega, because I believe this was all his work mostly. And we'll sort of take a little bit of a tour and get lost. <laughs> but. Yeah, my, my computer's just having a fit right now because how fast I'm moving through the. Uh... God, I sound so lazily. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord. But uh, as you can see right here, some more pixel art, which I never noticed before. I actually forgot about this spot. I have no clue. <laughs> I don't want to know. <laughs> um, got a boo. Got some different mushrooms from Mario Brothers. One was poisonous. This one, I forgot exactly what this one did. That one's a one up. Go That's a Goomba. And that right there was, you know, obviously your power-up mushroom. Then it became a point, or points from that point on. Triforce. Yeah, and I don't really want to know what the hell that's all about, but we'll, we'll shiftily move on. <laughs> this looks like... This looks like uh, Grief Central. Oh, wait a minute. This was... Uh, Exacting our revenge. Yep, that was what that was. This looks like I got griefed as well. Note to self, don't upset these guys. Holy crap, what the hell happened here? I think someone took a nuke to the fucking... Yeah, it looks like someone griefed the hell out of this area. Mind you, that was not me. <laughs> wow. This is actually, I think it might be either ruins or someone just went crazy. This is kind of wild. It's kind of cool, actually. Getting sidetracked from the main task at hand. But well, we got all these different 
formulating spots of doom here. Remove as quickly as possible through all this. Wow. Castles in the sky. All right, I think we're actually reaching the pixel art zone. Yep, we are. This right here, I'll show you a better look at this ship. Wow, this could, my computer, I can seriously hear it right now. I'm getting rid of this, this extra uh, guy after that's just bothering me. <laughs> This right here is the Mech Warrior. Looks like it's covered with moss, though. Look, it's like somebody trolled this, uh... Bobcat. Oh, God, seriously, I should stop doing these videos while I'm, uh... My, I, so when I wake up somewhat in the morning or whatever, it's my nose gets all damn nasally, so it's just... It's just chaos. But I'll show you a better look here at the top of this, uh... GameCube real fast. Some of the detail behind it. I put a lot of freaking work into this. It took me like a like couple hours to do that. Very proud of it. So okay, we're going to uh, leap into here. Leap. All right. So as you can see right here, we got Knights into Dreams or Knight for most of those folks who commonly call him her it. See, I'm not 100% uh, familiar with the Nights into Dreams series. I mean, I played them, don't get me wrong, but I just have not elaborate, not too elaborate with it, pretty much. Really well done art. Really good, detailed, big art, which is great. Uh, this is um, Ryu, or Rai... Oh, shoot, I keep forgetting her damn name or pronouncing her damn name, but she's from Tenchi Mayu. Done by... Uh, Letter Stis, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Probably totally butchered it. Uh, but the other fellow Mario I know, <laughs> Mamma Mia, really good draw, really good job though. See, this area is pretty much all the way done down to bedrock. We found like the height. They found the highest mountain. I'm saying we, but I didn't really do all the work for this. But as you can get closer, you can see bedrock. So. Okay, so let's see how the hell you actually get in here now. This is a, that drove me crazy. So okay, you have these steps. Which is some place I would obviously would have been an obvious place to uh, go into, but never have known about. Right. Let's see. Go down a little bit. Holy crap. Really? Really, guys? <laughs> Holy sugar honey iced tea. Holy crap. What the hell is this? Wow, this is going to be the most confusing labyrinth ever. I'm going to drink a dip. I'm going to just uh, dig a damn hole through this and escape. Wow. <laughs> Good thing I'm following my nose th through this. Holy sweet Jesus. Do 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 do. Feels like I'm playing Mario Brothers uh, on N64 here. Or Super Mario 64, excuse me. Wow. <laughs> yeah, they, they expect me to find this place or find that zone like this. Ah, uh, hell no. <laughs> Are you just giving up halfway? Wow. What a confusing labyrinth. Yeah, it's probably not a good idea to actually dig this out or dig up. Because that could lead to, uh, well, flooding of sorts. But pretty confusing, actually. 
So you can see the map on the top right of the screen. That's pretty much where I'd be standing right now if I were uh, on land. Oops. But yeah, if you could, oops, if you could see what I'm using right now, I'm using too many items, which is a uh, Minecraft mod which you use to forge and you uh, integrate it into the files for Minecraft. Then you can, you know, just grab whatever you want and just be like. The only reason why I have this installed is again to show off any particular mods that, you know, obviously certain items I don't have any access to um, through, you know, external means to save time. I'll be able to show you guys that way. And, uh, well, working on a pixel project anyway, which, you know, to me, you know, I'd rather be in a creative mode stance anyway than trying to find all that damn wool. Because that just, that would take way too long, like just way too many uh, elements of time. But, you know, I'm just sort of walking around right now just to waste some time while I'm talking to you guys with this. Um, next episode, I should probably have a good amount of said pixel art as well as a little area probably sort of like how you saw those but not as big because I'm lazy but stuff where I show some pixel art and everything else like that in between but redstone just doing this randomly now but okay guys thank you guys so much for watching uh, take care and I'm gonna log out of this and slam my head into a wall so Take care, everybody. Oh, man.